It is the epidemic of the 21st century, affecting over 2 million Canadians. More than 60,000 new cases are diagnosed every year. And of those living with the condition, 40% will experience long-term complications such as heart failure, stroke, blindness, and amputation. It doesn't discriminate. And if we don't curb this epidemic, our medical system will be the next victim. So why isn't anyone taking diabetes seriously? We are. It's time for Canadians to rethink diabetes. That's why UHN is not only striving to reverse and cure diabetes, we're looking for better ways to prevent it. With new treatments such as insulin pumps, stem cell research, and islet cell transplantation, we are finding the solutions that will one day make diabetes a thing of the past. Diabetes is the epidemic of the 21st century. Um, at present, it affects approximately 1 in 10 Canadians. And in fact, in certain populations, for example, Native Canadians, almost 1 in 2. What we're seeing, which is absolutely frightening and quite astounding, is we're beginning to see adult onset diabetes, which is the most common form of diabetes. We're starting to see that occur at younger and younger age groups. It's probably 20 years ago now that I was diagnosed as a diabetic. I was in business then. I was the uh, CEO of Sun Microsystems in Canada. Uh, when I got diagnosed, I was pretty terrified had no idea of what diabetes really was. I'd certainly heard of the disease, but other than that, didn't know anything about it. Was uh, fairly concerned, thought it meant that uh, my life was going to be over in the very near future. Discovered that uh, that wasn't the case, that with proper management, I could live a long and healthy life. Why do we have an epidemic of diabetes? Because lifestyles have changed dramatically over the past 20 to 50 years. It's the reduction in physical activity. We use every form of labor-saving device, cars, remote, um, television changes. Everything is designed to make our lives more comfortable and uh, to expend less energy. And this dramatic in increase in the calories that we consume, calorie-dense foods, which are readily accessible, easy to consume, generally in a society such as ours, fairly inexpensive and highly delicious and, and in fact uh, irresistible. It's this combination of reduced energy expenditure, reduced physical activity and increased uh, food that we consume that is fueling the epidemic of obesity and rapidly behind that, the epidemic of diabetes. We must recognize, of course, that diabetes has a strong genetic component. Okay, certain people get diabetes and certain people are resistant to diabetes. Basically, before being diabetic, you had freedom. You could do whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted, with nothing stopping you. After being uh, diagnosed with diabetes, your life changes because whatever you do affects your condition. As a physician caring for people with diabetes, it really breaks my heart when I see some of the devastating complications of diabetes. So the scientist part of me is intensely driven to find an answer and to find a cure for this, uh, this problem. And we're very confident that we will make major breakthroughs. Uh, our breakthroughs will be translated into improved treatments for people with diabetes, treatments that reduce the devastating complications of diabetes and make the lives easier for people with diabetes. At the Diabetes Center, we know there's a better answer for diabetes. Help us find it. Donate, volunteer, get involved today.